We're doing a little bit of BBC today because the guys <laughs> watching at work. Hey, Microman. Um, doing a bit of BBC today because we've got some of the guys that are messing around with the BBC. And I did set homework. I think it was the last stream to convert the copycat, copycat game on the BBC. So... I thought we would just do a couple of uh, tutorials on uh, some of the basic stuff. So we're going to talk about the the keyboard and how to get the characters from the keyboard because I understood I understand more about it now, and also how to access the um, the screen memory in the different modes and how to make it come out with different colors because my um, C64 kebab's been struggling a bit and um, it was me that was helping him trying to understand what was going on so um, hopefully that will that should be interesting for you guys to try and take it forward hang on I've just got to open up my my temp file where are you where is it? Ah, that could be it. That's the one. So, what we're going to do is, as you can see, I've got a clean project. Nothing in it, except for my... <laughs> Hello! You're video bombing me again, are you? Hey, hey, you video bombing me again, hey? <laughs> oh, you can't see him. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> right. So I've got a constants file. So I've started building up a constants file to try and um, help life a little bit easier. And also, oh, thanks, mate. I'm getting there. People thought it was distracting, but I'm left leaving it on for one. Leaving it on for one because it looked pretty cool until I turned it off, and then it was black. <laughs> so what we're going to try and do is we are we're going to try and. Um, do a couple of things now the first thing I want to do is the keyboard <laughs> it's making you motion stick <laughs> I'll turn it off in a bit if it gets too much by the way can you see the text yeah yeah so what we're gonna do is the keyboard first so I'm gonna try and find where Whoa, not that one. That one. Gonna try and find where I was last time. Da, 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 da. Somewhere around here. Because there is two ways of doing the keyboard. I can't remember where it was now. Should have these page numbers linked down, I think. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Monkey boy coder. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh, I wish I'd got me beta bot running because that would have that hope. Ah, never mind. You will have last subscriber, mate. I haven't got my beta bot running, but it will do it. Right, so we I need to find where the ASCII was. Oh, it's going gone past it again. Can't remember where it was. Um in key. Let's look for that. Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. 
Ooh, is that it? That, that looks like it. That looks like it. Right, so we we did before, um, we did the um, the in key on um, Petsky, uh, not Petsky, Pet Frogger, CBM Frog, uh, yeah, Pet Frogger. And I used uh, a method of getting the, the, the key value by doing this, yeah. So 81, sending 81, LDX was the, LDX is the key I think. LDX is the key. Oh, the negative, yeah, that was it. So you gotta, you gotta call Y with FF. And then you've got to do LDX with the key. Let me get the uh, the code up for that and copy it in to make sure we, I'm not missing out. Right. So uh, da, 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 key, 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 key. Where's key? There. So I'm looking for that. Here we go. So we have to put in the negative value of the key. Now, um, we'd have to look for in key in there. Where are we? Where's the tables for in key? Aha. So, for example, if we wanted space, so if we wanted space, it's minus 99 or 9D. So you put in dollar 9D. So we're checking for space, yeah? Now what that does is <laughs> what that does is if the key has been pressed then you you get um, I think it was an FF if my memory serves me right it's been a while I'll have to sh close the program closed it down haven't I? oh it still remembers that's good enough yeah so if it's zero if it's zero, we found the key. If it's not zero, we don't. So we just we what we did is we just did a a quick jump around. So branch if not equal to uh, did not find, and then we just did a quick loop back round here. Did not find. Uh, 20. Put a space in. So this is just basically going to... Um, on the first cell of the screen, it's if we, if we hit a space, it's going to fill it. If we don't hit a space, it's going to uh, blank it out. Oh, B best M. No, wrong one. Let's do that again. I'm so used to the other one. Run task. Here we go. And I've got the rename file. Hang on a sec. I keep forgetting I can't put spaces in these things. There we go. Right, so the top corner, if we press a space, it should 
as if I've got the right number in, and it's it's not doing it. It's not doing it. Ooh. Ba, 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 ba. That's crashed. I have got it on the right one. Hi. Twenty is space at ninety. LDX ninety, LDYFF, LDA is white. Tell it to do it. Do, 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 do. Let's find it again. Ninety FF. Yeah. Eighty one. That's not blanking out the first cell. That is not blanking out the first cell. Should be blanking out the first cell. Hmm. It's interesting. It was working the other day. Okay. Let's do this. Right, the X register is the one with the, the result in it. And it's not. There we go, there we go. So that is saying, right, if I press another key, well, so I'm pressing B, nothing. Pressing G, nothing. Pressing space. It's returning back that we have pressed the space. Now, there is a another way of using this function. So, so this is. Uh, let's put a comment in this. Um, That's the routine to test for a specific key. But there is another, whoa. Weird. Back. But there is another, let's see if we can find my cup, the routine again. 82, 81. But there is another an, another way of doing this, and so if we copy this and we do it here, we can tell it to scan the keyboard. Just scan the keyboard, yeah. And then we can test whether um, what come back, yeah. So we can test the the key that comes back without having to specify the key. And what you do is you you have to give it a time frame, yeah? So you have to give it a time frame where X is the low, um, the, the low byte for the time frame and Y is the high byte of the time frame. And what it is, it did it, you're specifying how many centiseconds. So it, it's basically every one hundredth of a second. So it allows you to pause the game while you're or pause whatever you're doing while you're waiting for a key so if you've got a um let's say if you've got a um a routine that truly needs to be um paused you know like press any click key if you're flashing if you're flashing press any key you could have it put press any key on the screen then pause for one second while it waits for a key. 
if it doesn't find a key, then it comes back, then you could blank it out and then fight, try and find the key again. But you could set it to um, uh, a second. And the way to do that is you have to divide um, your second by 100, yeah? So if you wanted to de delay for a second, yeah? So y would be zero and 100, which is one second. Now 100 is nine. No, it ain't. What's 100? 64? Oh, get me brain in gear, John. What's 100? Yeah, 64. Doubting myself. So you can put 64 here. Right? And that will wait a second for a key. Yeah? Now, the result, as you can see here, the result is put into X. So we can store it on the screen. Yeah? So if we run this, this will pause for a second and then it will carry on. <laughs> Make the text bigger, you're old. <laughs> right. So as you can see, it's come up with a key, it's come up with a value, but that means nothing because I'm not pressing anything. But if I press a key now, look, there's J. And it waits a second before. So if I double it, so 64 uh, times two, C8. There you go. Is that better? So we've now we're now telling it we're now telling it to delay uh, two hundred centi seconds, which is equal to two seconds. Yeah. So we're now telling it to delay. So if I build it now, and we'll move that down a bit don't need to have that up there right so there was a two second delay before it started and then it's gone and said h yeah now i'm not pressing any key but what i'll do is i'll press l so there's l look there's a delay before it goes back to h yeah so it's actually stopping the running of the program because you've told it you want to wait two seconds so what it's doing is I've pressed a key and it's carried on and then it's looped back round and now it's waiting two seconds. Yeah. But you can do it. It's like um, the C64197 poke, you know, because you now, you don't have to specify a key you want to test. You can just tell it, get me the key. But there is a delay. It asks for a delay. Now you can go as small as you want. So we could say, we could say, right, I don't want to, I don't want to wait two seconds for the next key to come up. I want to wait one, one centisecond, one one hundredth of a second. Still works, but this is now more like the uh, peak 197 of a C64 because it'll do it straight away, right? Can you see? It's doing it straight away. It flashes and then it's... It's not waiting anymore. It's basically, it's recognized that it got, but then it's disappearing because I'm not pressing a key. But the only thing, the only downside is with Pete 197, if you press and hold a key, it stays like that. This, it will flash because what it's doing is it resets every time. Yeah, it doesn't stay on. But for all those people that wanted to try and control a game, there are two ways of doing it. You can do it the way, so let me uh, put a comment in here. So there's two ways of doing it. You can you can tell the system exactly what key you're expecting, right? 
it will then go away, scan the keyboard, and then come back straight away and say, sorry, that key wasn't pressed. Or you can tell it, go away, scan the keyboard. Come back to me uh, in X amount of centiseconds if you haven't seen one. Or come back to me straight away if you get a key pressed. And this is more like the Peak 197 of the Commodore 64. It allows you to just basically say scan the keyboard and add a delay. Yeah. So it, you, you tell it, I want you to scan the keyboard and keep scanning the keyboard until, like here, two seconds have gone past. So let's do it again, but this time we're gonna make it not two seconds. We're gonna make it, let's make it five. So 500, so 500 is gonna be five seconds, right? So F4 is the low byte, the high byte is one. So this is now Um, oh no, there in it. This is now delay for five seconds. And same with this, that's what this is. So what's that, what's gonna happen now You spell checking me comments now. <laughs> so this is now. So what? Head <laughs> face. So what you're telling the beep to do is, right? This is the time frame, and I want you to scan the keyboard f for that time frame. If you find a key, return back immediately. If you don't find a key wait until the five seconds is up and then come back all right so now we should get a longer delay so after i press a key it should take a longer time to reset so here we go so i'm going to press h right so the default state is t right that's the default state it means nothing yeah Have I done a proper key key scanner for the 64? Yeah, when you read in when you read in the matrix, the two bytes, because you have to set one as an output and one as an input. So you set the output and input, and then you you run th you run through that while reading that. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. I did it for Neptune Lander. So the default state is T, right? That means absolutely nothing. It just, because what, what you would do is you would test. In fact, we can do that, we'll do that. Um, so we're gonna st and store Y in 7C01. It's Y that determines if it's picked something up, look. If call, right, so it says on exit, X and Y contain FF if the key being scanned is pressed. Right, so that's when you're telling it. If you call it with Y and X equals zero, um, then the machine, you know, comes back. Now, now, Y should tell you if it found a key. So, oh yeah, oh, I know, I know that. Right, so we're waiting, there we go, five seconds. So it's got no key. So the second one should disappear and the first character should be the character we're pressing. So I'm gonna press K, there you go. So Y goes to zero when it's found a character. If it doesn't find a character, Y is at value 5255 and that's where we're getting the square block. And X is just a random character that it picks up. But if you press a key and Y is zero, that means you've, you've found a key and X will contain what key you press, in this case, G, right? Now it waits five seconds before, oh, didn't find a key. Right, okay, T. It's waiting five seconds, comes back, there you go. Or if I press 
J O H N. As you can see, it's not waiting five seconds because what's happening is, is as soon as the key's pressed, it comes back to the, it comes back to you. It doesn't wait five seconds. The only time it waits five seconds is when it doesn't see a key. There you go. That's it. The five seconds is up, and then it carries on. So there's two ways of going for the keyboard. Yeah. So the first way is you have to. Let's get back to the in key table. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. Now, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just boost up a bit. So you're always looking for the negative value, the in key value. So if you're specifying what key you want to listen to, like I did in Pet Frogger, yeah? Then you're going to do this. We'll, we'll just rem this out for a second. And what you're doing is you're specifying in your X register what key you want to, your what key you're expected to press. So in this case, let's pick another key. We'll pick F. All right. So F is that is minus sixty eight or BC. So we put in BC in there. We set Y to FF because that's how you tell the system you are specifying the key that you want to um, to have. Um, and it will basically, it scans the keyboard, comes back, no key pressed, no key pressed, no key pressed, right? So here we go. So we're F. So I should be able to press any other key. So here we go, M, M, D, bless you, bless you, W, Q, A. But the only time we will see it on the screen is when I press F. There's F. And it's letting us know because the X register has zero when you don't find it and 255 when you have pressed it. So I'm pressing H, nothing, and now pressing F. So two ways of scanning a keyboard. Yeah. So I did in Pet Frogger, I told it um, which keys I was expecting. Yeah. I'm expecting the Y one now. I'm expecting the X one now. I'm expecting the Z one now. Yeah. And then all you're doing is testing X register. If it's 255, the key was pressed. If it's zero, the key wasn't pressed. So when you guys were t saying last time when I did the pet vlogger that you can't do a, a one, you know, a one night peak one nine seven, well you can. That's this routine here. Yeah, the only thing you have to do is you you tell it how long to wait. Now, if you are if you've got a um, if you've got a um, uh, a shoot 'em up, for example, where you know reaction times are imperative, then you set your delay in X and Y to be a very short one. So you could have it set to you know 0.1 of a second, which is 10 10 centisecond, 10 centiseconds. So X would be O A and Y would be O what O Z uh, zero. Because that would that means that if no key is pressed, it's only going to wait 0.1 of a second before it continues with the program. I mean, you could set it to a hundredth of a second, but the pro the thing with that is the screen doesn't refresh that fast. Yeah, because the screen I think is on a beeb is still at 50. Now, Andy's going to probably shout at me. I think it's 50 hertz on the beeb screen. Am I right? Is it 50? I think it's 50. No 50. Yeah, okay. And so having a keyboard delay that is smaller than a 50th of a second is irrelevant, you know? So you, because the, you would not see you would not see the the screen change fast. 
So you could have this second one at say a point 0.1 second delay, which should be enough. And it means that the, the code just temporarily stops for 0.1 of a second while it's waiting for the keyboard to be scanned. Uh, but it's quicker, if, you, if you're pressing the key, it doesn't wait. Like I showed you, I had a five second delay. As soon as I pressed the key, it came back. As soon as I pressed the next key, it came back, yeah? So that's how you can do um, keyboard scanning. Yeah, so let's just make sure that these two are apart. I ought to change the name, Anna. Let's change the name. Uh, rename. I'll do. So for any of those guys, for any of you guys that are currently um, converting copycat to the beeb there's two ways of reading the keyboard i did what i did this way in pet frogger i explicitly tested for the keys but you could do a generic keyboard scan and then test the uh, x value when it comes out to find out what key was pressed but you would test y first to see if it's set to uh, to zero, I think it was. Hang on, let's just run that again. I think it was zero. Right, let's set it to five. We're setting on five seconds still. So, yeah. So, Y would be zero to say that a key was found. Y would be 255 if no key found. All right. So I hope that's helped some of the questions I've been getting because I've been getting a few questions about the keyboard stuff and I'm hoping that this is going to help um, you guys understand how you can scan the keyboard using the operating system because you can't bank the operating system out so you might as well use it and some of the code in the BBC is pretty efficient not like other micros that we can mention. Now, the next thing, which is probably going to take some time, uh, which is <laughs> what um, C64 kebabs been going on about, is um, bit mapping. So let's just get this started up. Right, so bit mapping. Now um, we've already uh, we've already I should say screen modes really. So screen mode. We've already worked with mode seven, right? So in Pet Frogger, it was a mode seven game. Who's pinging me? Go away. It's a mode 7 game. Now, mode 7... Let's just reduce this down so I can see where I'm going. Mode 7... <laughs> I'm not that advanced, mate. <laughs> I'm hoping to be soon. I'm hoping to be. I'm just trying to understand how the bitmap... The bitmaps work. So, um, what I've done is I've spent the last week trying to understand um, the bit mapping yeah because it is it is unique it is unique on the BBC I've never come across I've never come across it before but it is a bit on the unique side um, and I know um, kebab was having a few problems until I started looking into it but it you've got to forget how the 64 64 does the bitmaps yeah does the bitmap uh, high resolution screen because the c64 has a bitmap of pixels that are on or off so it's one or zero yeah and the color of that pixel is determined by the 
character that you've got in the screen RAM, not the character, not the color in the color RAM. It's determined by the screen RAM. So if you put an A, I think that's um, white. No, hang on, let me think. Yeah, A was white. At at zero, A is white. Then it will turn that bit of the bitmap to that color. But the BBC has no concept of that. It has many different modes. So if we let me um, let me run the beeb. I've got to update the BBC because the beeb a new version of beebm is out. Right. So this is mode seven. Yeah. Straightforward. Just text. Mode seven. Mode zero is high resolution, and this is, um, you know, it's a bitmap. So it's taking up. Um, and I, let me let me get this right. I think this is taking up about twenty k of memory just to render the screen, but it's only black and white, two colours, black and white. Oh, is it 24? We'll have a look. We'll have a look in a bit because I'll get to the pages on the on the PDF. But it's 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 a it's it's the same sort of bitmap as the C64 because it only does ones or zero, so it's either black or white. Unless you change the palette, you know, then it'll be yellow on white or something daft like that. Yeah. Um. But it takes the largest amount of memory I think but I'm not too sure but it's definitely the biggest amount of memory um, because it's eight columns across yeah so if we whoops so if we go uh, 10 20 30 40 that's halfway across right yeah it's about halfway across is mode one a color Are you sure I don't think it is um so so it's 80 columns and it's 32 rows deep so this mode is a really really useful mode yeah, because it's got the most real estate that you can do. 80 columns by 32. It would be an excellent um, word processor screen. But it takes so much memory up, you won't be able to type much of a letter. <laughs> but there are other modes, like mode 1. So this is now 40 characters. So 10, 20. So there we go, halfway across the screen. But this now, because we have, because we've halved the resolution, we have effectively um, quadrupled. Yeah, sort of. Still 32, characters, 32 rows down, but you've quadrupled the amount of data. Ladies and gentlemen, 6,502 kebab has entered the chat. <laughs> that doesn't get old. So we've quadrupled the amount of data we can put on the screen. But... In terms of what I mean by data is both color and pixel data. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So the next one is mode two. Now this one is 10. There we are. 20 columns across. Have what? Your Mr. K. What? Yeah, 20 columns across. 
So we've halved the resolution again, but this time we've increased the amount of data we can put on the screen because we now in this mode, we've got 16 colors, right? We have eight permanent colors and eight flashing colors. And the flashing colors can give you an epileptic fit, I tell you some of the com color combinations, but they class it as 16 colors. Mm, okay. 16 colors but it's eight static and eight flashing then we've got mode three which is still a high resolution mode but you can't draw lines on it it's just a text screen you know it's using stacks of memory you know, eight columns, but it's 25 rows, so it's a lot bigger. But, yeah, 25 rows, yeah, this one. So it's using less memory, but you can't draw a line on it. So mode three is just purely for text. Oh, you're back again. Hello. And so, there is a unique th feature of this mode, and we'll get to that in a minute. So mode four is 40 columns, 10, 20, and this one is only two colors. So it's black or white. Now the beauty of this is using less memory again, because we're only storing two colors and we're only talking 320 by 256. So it's using even less memory. And I think this is using 10K of memory. I think. Something around there. We'll see when we get to the, the page. Um, we've got mode five. I think that's what we're on now. No, no, mate. I've, we'll get there. So this is like mode two. So we're talking, you know, 20 columns. Takes up less memory. But the downside of taking up less memory is you can't have as much definition on the screen. So this only does four colors. As its sister mode, which is mode two, can do 16 colors. Yeah. So this this mode will only do the four colors. Yeah. Um, like I say, its sister mode is mode two, which does 16 colors, but it takes three times the memory. I think it is. I think it's three times the memory or twice the memory somewhere around there. Next one, mode six, like mode three, but Mode six is now, it's halved the number of characters. Still 25 records, still 25 rows down, but it's halved the number of characters. And there's no resolution. You couldn't draw a line on it if you tried. Yeah. But we should be able to affect it anyway. And then there's mode seven, which is pure text-based. No graphics whatsoever. It's text-based, and this is where most of <laughs> draw something cool like circles. <laughs> we will get there. We will get there eventually. And this is where most of the um, cartridges, like word processors and stuff like that, they used this mode most of the time. Now, how do we use? How do we get to the memory? Hmm. Right, let's go down and see if we can find it. Da, 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 mode naught. Here we go, mode naught. Let's get rid of that. So mode naught. Let's uh, put some comments in here. Mode naught. Right, mode naught is six forty by two, so six forty 
by 256. It has two colours and it's 80 by 32 in terms of usage. This is what the state of the uh, the video chip when it's in mode zero. So all those, all the 17 settings are set to what's listed here. So it tells you what you can, you know, what you can set and everything. But you know, we're we're not we're not going to set that. We're going to cheat. We're going to let the operating system do it. So we use. Operation 22. We run that, so that's now telling the system we're going to change the mode and we're going to put it in mode zero. And that's how you change the mode into bitmap mode using, uh, using the operating system. Now I know 6502 Kebab was trying to do it himself. Why? The operating system is always going to be there. It never gets paged, paged out. Why not use what they use? So if we run this, so if I do RTS here, this should go into mode 0. There you go, mode 0. Now, for mode naught, the screen starts, oh, let's get rid of the, that. The screen starts, scroll over a little bit here, at 3000. So, let's set some bytes, shall we? So, um, load one and load y zero let's have a looper and store in in fact we will have a label So we store it in screen start, comma y. And then we'll copy it again. And this time we'll do 1000 and we'll copy it again a few times. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D. Nine Y branch if not equal to looper. Do a plotter. Yeah, we, we we're going to get there because this the screen is not as straightforward as a Commodore sixty four screen. Got to remember that. Right. So if I run this, we should get. A part of the bitmap. There you go. So that's part of the bitmap, and we've set bit one. So let's convert this into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? So we've set bit one. Let's set bit four. That's not seven. Bit four. That's it. Get a bit more stripes going on. There you go. Whoa. Cool. That messes with the eyes, doesn't it? But this is the same sort of same sort of system as the sixty four. Because mode naught only has two colours, and those two colours are black and white, basically saying that the pixels on and the pixels off. So, for each, for every one byte, we have eight pixels. 
Now remember this, that's important. That is important. For every one byte, we can plot eight pixels for mode zero. All right? Now mode one, so let's copy that, put there. So mode one. So mode one is 320 by 256. So we've halved the resolution across the x-axis, but the y-axis is still the same. It's Oi, now... John, pay attention to chat. Troll just eight bytes. Okay. I'll leave that in. Georgia State Bytes, okay. In fact, I will put it in. There you go. Eight bytes. So that's our first. In fact, the first one's there. It's underneath there. Let's put a let's put a jump star there, so it so the cursor don't get in the way. Oh, wrong. So look, there's eight. That's eight bytes that's a character a character so the bitmap works just in the same way as the commodore 64 in mode zero yeah because the commodore 64 is in eight eight byte chunks so you've got eight eight bytes then it moves on to the next character another eight moves on to the next character another eight moves on to the next character so we can use the same mathematics as we did in the the um in fact that'll be interesting if we can translocate the routine across. Yes, exactly. It's like the 64. The 64 does exactly the same thing. So that's one byte, one eight byte block. Then it moves on to here, then it moves on to here, then it moves on to here. No, because I think the spectrum does one there and then one there and then one there. I think that's split into quarters, isn't it? So it does. And then it goes back to the top and does that, doesn't it? On the spectrum. But this is this is reacting like the C64. Now... Like I say, mode one is now doubled the col doubled the colours. We are now talking four colours. We're still at forty by thirty-two, and the screen still starts at three thousand. The difference now is that okay, we've halved the resolution on the X. But why have we halved the resolution? It's because we're now storing the color information in the pixel. And this is, where, this is where it gets really, really interesting. In fact, I did some slides. Here we go. Here we go. Right, mode one. The color information in mode one is embedded into the byte, yeah? And what it does, it pairs up, um, it pairs up bits in the byte to form your color information. So mode one pairs up bit zero and bit four. It pairs up bit one and bit five. It pairs up bit two and bit six, and then three and seven. So effectively now, we are not talking as before we're not talking of one byte equals eight pixels. We're talking now that one byte only equals four pixels. So for every one byte of memory, you get four pixels on the screen. And the reason for that is because we have got 
the colour information is stored in it and it's stored in it in the pair bit pairing of you know seven and three uh, six and two five and one and four and zero and those pairs give you zero one two and three which is your four colors which is your four colors so if we change this to mode one and we'll do the same thing as we did here we'll only will only affect eight bytes so here i'm going to turn that off so we're looking at bit zero and its corresponding bit in fact let's put some numbers here so seven six five four three two one zero right so its corresponding bit is zero so in essence that that byte is going to have um pixels of zero 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 one right and so you've got to remember that the screen is only going to show four pixels for every one byte and because this is set to this one is set to one and its partner is set to zero i think that's red so let's see if it is There you go. So we have now got a red, and if you notice, it's just one line. Just one line. So let's set the other ones. Right, so the next the next pairing is uh, one and five. So we'll make one and five like this. So one, zero. So five is at one, but pin uh, bit one is at zero so we've now got zero one and we might as well do the other ones as well so bit three will make one and uh three no it's two isn't it two 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 one let's put that back to zero two and six we'll make them one one and we'll make seven and three zero so they're the four colors so effectively we're doing this right so it's that so we've got all four different combinations in one bit so we should end up with four colors on the screen right there you go so we've got red and yellow if you can see it white and then black there's a black strip there and if you don't believe me we'll swap it around right we'll make that one one and that zero zero so one one zero zero right let's run it again so you should see a black line now in the middle of the spectrum there you go so red yellow black white now that's one byte that is eight bytes there only representing four pixels on the screen and the reason for that is we are basically layering the two pixels together but it's strange why didn't they do why didn't the pair up bits zero and one two and three four and five six and seven why did they go for this sp split? So they've got low nibble, high nibble, and it's doing... I don't know why they did it. Which makes plotting even worse. Because you've now got to work... When you do a line, you've got to, have, you've got to set the right bits depending on what the colour is. Right? Because you only have four bits... You only have four pixels to play with. And depending on what the colour... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardware mapping. So I, the, the, but it's it depends on the the color, which is, you know, it's strange. So that's mode one. Now, mode two. Let's copy this. Now you should be able to see start seeing a pattern. So mode two. 
is 160. So it's even less of a resolution, but this time we've got 16 colors on the screen and only 20 columns. Still starts, let's just have a look, at 3000. But this time, instead of one byte, um, instead of one byte um, producing four pixels, I think this time it's one byte produces two pixels. And the color pair, the bit map pairing is <laughs> it's like, it's like, hang on, I've got it on the air somewhere. There we go. It's zero, two, four, and six is one, one pixel. And then the other one is one, three, five, seven. So that's the second pixel. So let's put that in there. So seven, five, three, one and six, four, two, zero. So, let's copy that, paste that, and we'll just rem that out. In fact, we'll rem that out, because that's where the thing is. So this time, we are now talking one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in that sort of Okay, mate. We'll have. I'll have. I'll, we'll, if we ever get. If we get there, mate. Thank you. If we get there, we'll try it in mode zero. Yeah, uh, mode. Yeah, mode zero. Right. So mode two. Uh, mode. Th no, mode two. We're on the sixteen color. So this is now split. And so you're only going to represent two pixels for any one byte. And it's. 16 character 16 colors so naught to f naught to f on both high high and low nibble so we c if we set that pixel to be red and we'll set hang on uh, two one zero two one three here we go so that's going to set that one to that and that one to that and the reason I've done reason it's like that is because we we still remember seven five three one yeah six four two zero so bit three is set to one which it is and bit zero is set to one so that should be that should be that should be um, red, and I think that is yellow, I think. Right, let's change the mode. Let's run it. There you go. Oh, no, it's green. But we've got two pixels, look. Red and green. That's it. Out of every byte, all you're doing is setting two pixels. And what's happening is, it's um, it's layering it like this. So it's layering the bits, so to define the color information. And that's, I mean, it's it's clever how it's clever how they've done it. And I think the um, it's the principle of the PC as well, isn't it? Because you've got red, green, blue layers, alpha all stacked up to make one pixel but it's the same with the BBC but they they did it slightly different they they the plat the bit are not planes of the bitmap yeah they are just an indi they're just an index indicator to the color and that's it so if we wanted to say okay I don't want red and green I want to make it red and let's see let's do that so we'll set to bit one to be one so that should be yellow i think yes yellow and that's how you work out the color information 
just add the plot routine. Yeah, yeah, mate. I mean, we can, we can, we can do it. But I'm just trying to explain the the BBC concept here. So, as in mode zero, one byte produces eight pixels in a line. Mode two, one byte produces two pixels. And hence why the resolution is so smaller, because you're using far more memory to produce a pixel compared to mode zero. Now, if we go higher, let's say if we set that, so if we do that, this is now in the upper area of the color, we get the flashing colors now. So you'll see that one of them should flash. There you go, it's flashing blue and yellow. So the high, bar, high bit converts into the flashing, and so you've got oh, all sorts of colors. I think, I think it says it here somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't say on this one. Oh, it doesn't say. No. I wonder if it's up. I wonder if it's up. No, it's not going to do it. It's not going to show the colours. Oh, no. Right. I must have been in a different... PDF. Maybe I was in the user guide. Hang on. Colors, colors, colors. Give me the colors. Aha, there we go. So we've got seven colors black red green yellow blue magenta cyan and white and then once you go into the high nibble you're getting flash your black sort of um, alternating so black and white red and cyan green and magenta yellow and blue and then we've got green oh magenta green so it's reversed the order and then white and black so that's what the, the colors do. Now, when you're doing a plotting routine, yeah, fine, we can do a plotting routine, say make everything red, um, but you still got to work out which picks, which bit in that memory you've got to set, because if you're setting red, it's different than set saying, I'm going to draw a green line, because the green line would be a different bit on the byte yeah so two but two pixels per byte now mode three mode three is just like any other mode yeah so we'll rem that out and we'll just do one two three one one two three right let's see now mode Three. That's what we're on, isn't it? Mode three. So that starts at four thousand. So we need to change this. Takes less memory up. Oh. Have I got it still running? Oh yeah, I've still got it running. There you go still can plot on there and it's still similar to modes mode zero the only difference here is if I take this out and run it again look it's got blank lines in between the rows I 
put a D in. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Indy. Where? Oh. You mean there? Okay. So mode three has got this. Ah, oh, okay. So mode three has got this blank line between the rows. So if I fill this up. Look, it's a blank line. Now I haven't I haven't skipped any bytes here. I haven't skipped any bytes. I've just constantly filled the screen up. So what it's done, it's gone down there, moved onto that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. It's worked its way across, and then it's come here. The actual mode three has blank lines. Look, it's even it's even says in the advanced user guide that these two pixels. Pixel rows are blank. Now it's pretty it's pretty useful because when you when you turn the white into or black in, uh, white into or the black into blue, and now for yellow right, and it looks like a teletype. But you couldn't make a game on here because you've got these blank lines that you cannot do anything around. They are blank lines. That's mode three. So mode four is the same. Um, do we do mode four? That changes screen. Screen. Yes, it does. So that's on a different screen start as well. So that starts at five eight. There you go. Eight, one byte is eight pixels. Right, it's just black and white. There's no other colours. Right, so we better do that. So mode three and mode four. So mode three is the same as mode zero so it's got a resolution of no it's not that is it no it is that but the row resolution is a lot lower hang on 25 times 8 200 So it's a lot lower. Back into the two colours. Uh, 40 by 32. Screen starts at 4000. And one byte is equal to 8 pixels again. Yeah. So we're back to the 8 pixels. And so there's no colour information. No, mode 3 is not that. It's 80 by 25. Oi, oh. John, pay oh, attention yeah. to chat. Yeah. Thank you. I can what? Mode four is three twenty. Yeah, it's eight to be twenty five. Mode four. Two colours again. This time, uh, do, 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 mode four is back to the thirty twos. But the start of the screen is five eight hundred, and one byte equals eight pixels because we've only got the two colours. Forty.
In mode three, it's the mo the, it, well, we're just talking modes, yeah? In mode three, if you're using mode three, you can't get rid of the blank lines unless you're messing around with the the video chip. But you've got to remember, mode three is the same as, let's see, mode one. Sort of. In fact, mode three is the same as mode six. But I think mode six has got the blanks. Yeah, mode six has got the blanks. But we're not messing around with the, the we're not messing around with the video. Yeah, we're just setting the modes. We're understanding what modes and how we can. Uh, I know once you can tinker with the video chip to get rid of the blank lines. Because it probably tells you here. Hang on, mode three. There's the blanks. It's got to be something, you know. I mean, did you know that the BBC's got hardware scrolling in all directions? Did you know that? I didn't until I read this. <laughs> Scan lines per character. Where's that? Oh yeah, nine. Yes, it does hardware scrolling. It cheats on doing the hardware scrolling, but it does it. Yeah. Right, so mode four. So we're now into the lower memory usage modes. Mode five is the same as its counterpart. Yeah. The only difference is So mode five is similar to this. The only difference is it's a lower resolution. Oh no, it's 56, 34 characters and 20. Still same start position, 5800. Oh yes, yes, 5800. And it's back to the four pixels per byte in this configuration. All right. And then mode six is like mode uh, three. The only difference between is it's 40, 40 uh, 25. So that means it's uh, 320. And the start address is even less, 6,000. But one byte is eight pixels. So, you know. And then mode seven is just mode seven, it's teletext, you know. Uh, there's no resolution um, it's teletext characters so you can have eight col uh, 16 colors yeah um, it's 40 by 25 if my memory serves me right and the screen starts at 7C100. And there's no. So mode 7 is the similar sort of thing as the 64 standard screen, the text screen, not the bitmap screen. So if we mess around, let's mess around with mode 3. Because that's the one that gives no mode two. Because that's the one that gives us the most color, All right? So 
we're in this realm here. You can set, let's have a look, two pixels. You can set the two pixels to be, can't it, can't it do a brown? No, I don't think brown's on that. No. Like can't do orange. <laughs> no brown. <laughs> anyway. So now you understand the pairings, yeah? For each mode, you know, one byte that if you have colour in it, you're reducing the number of pixels that that byte covers. So if you have 16 colours, you only make, for one byte, you only have two pixels lit up. For um, four colours, then you get four pixels per byte, and for two colours, you get all eight. So we could, as Proton has put in Discord, draw a circle in mode zero. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can draw a circle. Oh, I've got to have my plotter. <laughs> right, let's just... Uh... Right, I'm just going to store that there and we'll get back to that. Now, the plan was to try and recreate a sprite on the screen. That's the plan. Yeah. Um, something was suggested to me last night, which was the Gallagher sprites. And after thinking about it, I was thinking, yeah, it could be a it, it could be a good exercise to try and figure it out. So, what I thought would <laughs> what I thought would do is we'd first of all we have to split, we have to work out what the colours are and the pixels are. So I've just added lines onto here. I don't know if you can see that. On here let's uh, see if I can zoom in so I've added lines onto it to try and identify the pixels and then I thought right let's pick a character let's pick one of the shit so this one so it's this one down here put the pixels on it and then we've got to work out the um, mem the work out the memory for it so the memory usage now you've got to remember, this is our mapping for a four color um, sprite. If we're using an eight color sprite, uh, no, this is the mapping for a, sorry, 16 color sprites because we are using, for every byte is two pixels, right? So, that is one byte there. So I think I worked it out. So that's one byte. Two, three, four, five, six. Just to make it do that. So I thought we'd have a crack at trying to do this and work it out. Yeah. And what I was going to do was try and see if we could do it on the screen. So I need to pick a location. So we are using mode two, so it's 3000. So we want that. Um, let's rem this all out. So I'm in mode two, let's rem all this out and let's see if we can 
if we can manually work this out, yeah, and I mean manually work it out, we're going to hard write it into a specific place. Yeah, so, and I ain't done this already, so <laughs> it's a, <laughs> don't shout at me if it don't work, because I'll go home. Right, so in mode two, each line is 278 bytes across. Each line is 278 bytes across. So we have to make sure that when we're doing the lines that we add for the next row, 278 hex for that. And we'll, we will get to the circle, yeah. So I want to, let's see, what's, what's smack in the middle for that? So we're going to be on the top row. Let's do it at the top row. Top row, and we're going to be at 3100. So we'll say that's the first one. LDA summit, store it in 3100. So, so we're going to start on this row here, here. So it's zero. So zero, zero. Right, let's do that. So zero, zero. Put the let next one. And we'll put the percentage in there so we can, uh, so he's green, all right? So zero, zero, and it's the lower part that's green. So what's green? What colour's green? Let's get back to the colours. Green is two. So one, two, three, four, and two. Right, that, if we run that, we should have a green pixel. One green pixel, roughly at the top. I've already thought of that, mate. Oh, I've made it red. Green. Right. Green, green, green. Oh, that's red. That's, how come that's red? Oh, well, that's one, isn't it? Two's there, you Wally John. No, it ain't. One, two. That's two. Have I miscounted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's two. Zero, one is red. Two is green. Okay, let's do that. That. Got to be green. Oh, it's still running. Two reds, yeah, okay. So, I'm using the physical, no, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just working it out wrong. Yeah, I've got my groupings wrong. I've got my groupings wrong. Hang on, I need that, that's what I need. Grouping's all wrong, right? Remember, I'm in two, we're in two groups. So we're in the lower part here and we want green. So it's not zero, it's bit two. That is green. There we go. There's our green pixel. It's just because I got the groupings. I, I missed, I forgot about the groupings. Right, what's next? So that's it. So we have to go down 200 and 270 something and do it again. So let's do that. Let's go back to here. 
so it's definitely 278 so let's get the calculator out because I'm not going to be working this out on my own wow big calculator right so 3102 plus 278 is 337 337a so that's the next so that's the next green bit so let's do it oh I've gone too far no 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 come on John gone too far I'm still within the character Still within the character, yep. There we go. Then, next one. So, we are now, we've done that. So, we're now. So, we need to pull back. Right, we'll do this one. Because that's the next bite down. So purple and green. So that's the next bite down. And then we'll go, we'll. So purple and green. Right. Five. So one, two, four. So that's five and one. Five and one and we're still on green so we should have a purple bit now oh no stop forgot to add one to the bite Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. I see it. It's. I forgot that it's eight bytes. It's it's eight bytes clustered in eight bytes. So we should have a purple bit. There we go. So that's the purple bit. So that's done that one. So here. So it's gonna be. So we're knocking one off. So we're storing. Uh, da 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 da. -da. So we're storing. Three O FC and let's grab that. So this is going to be a long and laborious process, but it's there, it's there to learn. So, black and purple. So we need we need five and one to be zero, and purple is four and zero. Four and zero. So that should now extend that purple out, which it has done. There it is. So I've now extended the purple out. Oh, right. Let's carry on. So we've done that one. So the next one is here. So two purples. So 3104 plus 8 is C. see and then we want two purples so we've done this purple and it's now going to be one and five so let's just make sure I've got that right 
before we continue. There we go. Does it look like we're getting there? <laughs> well, look what we've done. Three, three pixel rows. <laughs> three pixel rows. How rubbish am I? But yeah, I've been thinking of doing a a Node.js editor based on the 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 C sixty four sprite editor because it just needs tweaking on the on the um, in the in the internal mechanics. Right. So we've just done that. So if we add a add one to it, we can do the same thing there. So grab that and it's exactly the same as that just make it D so what else we got and we can do the same thing this side as well let's just make sure what have I done them already this is where I'm going to get lost So I've done that side, and I'm doing it right. Okay. So I've done that side, and now doing this side. So in the middle, purple, two greens. See, that's wrong. That's that's what we've just done there. Yeah, that's that's okay. So two greens. So that's going to be three one, three one o oh five. Two greens. We'll grab that. Put that there because that's two purples. Two greens are two. So that's going to be bit two. There. Now we're missing the green. That should be green. Oh, hang on. Got me, got me characters mixed up. Let's find out where I've got up to. I think that's where I was right. Yes, right. So I'm back to that. So we need to do the next one. Which was this one? Yep. So we've got two reds, and that's now done that one. So we need the two reds to be down here. So I think. That's that one. I think I've got that right. Yes. Right. And the next one was two greens, which are wrong. No, one. Three, yeah, that's it. One, so it's two. Green's two. One, three, and that. There we go. And that should be there. Oop. 
One too far. One too far. Uh, okay. Oh no, it's gone up. I want it here. That can't be right. Oh no. Minus eight. Oh, this is where having a editor would help. Right, that's two, that's over. So I've got to minus eight it, minus eight. That's five, isn't it? There we go, it's in the right place now. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm f I've, I'm w I've doing the sprite. I've got the sprite mate code, um, and I was going to do um, because the, the the convention is almost the same. It's just there's more colours. Um, but right, so we've got that. So that does that look anything like what I've got? Yes, it does. Right. So the next one is green and red. So that was D. That was definitely D. We was in the wrong place. Right, so green and purple. So green was on the upper and purple was on the lower. So purple is two and one. And that was D. Oh, and I put yellow in. Purple. What's purple? Five. And I put three in. Ugh. So zero and two, that's three. So I need to do four, don't I? Zero, two, four. Get rid of two. That should do it. There we go. There we go. Right. Next one. So that's that one. So it's just purple on its own. So we need to add another eight to that. Three one OD plus eight. Three one one five. And it is purple and nothing. So purple is five. So that's five and one. Five and one. And the rest is nothing. That should be the, th the nose done. There we go. There we go. It's looking something like that. And we, carry on. we have to carry on like that. Ugh. Yeah, right. So, what I'm going to try and do is, because um, we've just done that. Now, our best thing to do is just run down. So, 
what zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen down I'm just wondering if it's worth doing it downwards and get it working on downwards but as you can see this is how they're having to work the color out ah <sighs> right so um we're starting at 31 right let's see if i can um see if i can make get rid of that and i want to get rid of that get rid of that and make this smaller so i can see what i'm doing right so that's the this is 3100 31 oh one two three four five thirty one six so we don't need to put zeros in there All right so we're going to start at thirty one six and we'll we'll take this and we'll put that there so green green is two and it is the lower so two is on zero there then we've got it on seven as well there. hello john here thank you for following hope you enjoy the stream <laughs> 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 there is no way I'm gonna say that on stream. That is a great name, mate. That is a great name. Thanks for following, but there's no way I'm gonna say that. <laughs> That's a truly, truly great name that is. All right. Three one oh seven. So if we need to do this one, that's gonna be uh, plus 280, yeah? 3107 plus 280 is 3387. Right, so we've got two greens. So that means bit three needs to be set to make it two greens. Another two greens directly below it so that's eight and then we've got so we'll grab that again and we'll do this so this time the lower green's gone and it's just the upper green so that's going to be nine and then a right let's see how how badly i've done on that <laughs> terrible Oh wow, I've really got that right out there. Rats. So that's the start there. Rats. Okay, if that's 3100. 100. Okay. Okay. Which minus eight off everything. Uh, three one oh six. No, it's not eight, is it? Minus eight minus sixteen. It's minus sixteen. Three one oh six minus sixteen. is 30F6. Oh, F7. Then we need to add eight to it. Uh, no, plus 280. 
three three seven six seven 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 eight seven nine I think that's right now let's see if I screwed it up again oh rats we're getting there so what am I doing wrong hang on No, no, let's, I'm getting myself all screwed up here. So we're gonna start with this at three, 100. <laughs> well, I mean, I did down, I did download some of it. Um, that I was going to show. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, that's it. Right, so this All right, let's do this. I found a ROM. So uh select ROM, where am I putting it? I'm putting it in there. There you go. It's the graphics extension for the BBC. So all I need to do now is go back, load the PDF up, and it'll tell me exactly what I need to do. Installing ROM chip, right, don't need to do that. So GXR, so control F12. Right, so we sh if we type help, we should have a new ROM. There we go. So it's star GXR. Oh! <laughs> Trust it to be the wrong one. Okay, so it's that one then. Copy. Empty, select ROM, paste, that one then, okay, there we go, so star GXR, yeah, what do you do then? It's got a sprite header in it somewhere. Oh, this is me doing a squirrel, isn't it? But it has a sprite editor in it. It has a, um, a way of editing sprites. Here we go. Sprite graphics 52 S ah so star S space whoops star S space one uh, da, 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 da. sprite edit one uh, S edit one not in graphics mode. Okay, mode whatever. Uh, two. There we go. God knows how it works. I 
don't know what you need to do. Um, da -da 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 -da. Mode one, sprite editor one. Uh, the editor has function keys F0 to F8, uh, Shift F3 to Shift F6. Well, there you go. I've just got my colour wrong. I need a I need a different colour. How do I change the colour? F zero F one. That's shifting. Yeah, anyway, there's a graphics thing that allows you to um, create your own sprites. But I'm not doing that. I'm hardcore. Right, let's do this right. Three. Yeah, it, it horrible, but it worked. I've got to read the instructions as well. Um, but I was I was trying to see if I could find a way of editing sprites and that's the only ROM I could find on the BBC that allowed you to edit edit any sort of sprite or graphic but like I say I'm going to I've got the code for sprite mate you know this this one here and this could be easily converted into into um, a BBC sprite maker easily I just need to just I just need to do it. Beep Spriter. Beep Spriter. Is that a real thing? Oh, it's this dude. Oh, right. Retro software, he's, he's, he's done Phoenix and is in the middle of doing Centipede at the moment. Right, bookmarking that. You used it. Oh, right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll mess around with that off screen. Right, let's get this sorted out. So, 3 1, at uh, 3 1. That's zero zero one two three four five six three one oh six and seven. Right, let's get this back on track. So zero one two three four five six seven add three one oh seven plus two eighty. Starting again, John. Three three eight eight seven. Yeah. Eight seven. Eight eight. So that's these two. And eight nine. And eight A. So we've done all the way down this. Done all the way down there. Right, so add eight. So three one oh eight nine A B three one O oh, B I'm gonna I'm gonna regret this. Get rid of that. Right. Three one O B. Put that in there just in case. So 
So this is uh, 8, 9, A, B. So purple is on the low byte. So that's zero. Purple is five on the low byte. So we want a one in there. And we want a one in there. 3, 1, O, B. So that's that one. And then C. In fact, we'll grab that from here. Three one zero C. That's the two purples. And then we've got green. That's that. Three one zero D. Right. So that's the purple and green. And then we've got green all the way down. Now, think, that's the crossover. So 310D plus 280. 310D plus 280 is 338D. So we are putting um, two greens together. No, it's E, isn't it? No, oh, D. So putting two greens together. Now, greens was two. So we're talking, get rid of that. So two is there. Get rid of that. And three. So that should be two greens. Right, let's see how we're doing. It's just to make sure I've got it right. That's sort of right. I've got my I've got me adding up wrong. I've got me adding up wrong. Surely I've got me adding up wrong. This is wrong. See how difficult it is trying to work this thing out. I thought this wouldn't take too much time. <sighs> Not sure if this helps. Left colour, left right colour, not not black, two one red, eight four green. Yeah. Yeah. Gone wrong, big style. <laughs> now we can we can work that out, mate. We can we can redo that. Why has this gone wrong? Right, so this is the first this is the first stack. Right, green. Ah, let me load the PDF in. I'm sure I got the numbers right. Colors. One sixty. Here we go. Right, colours, come on. Here we go. So I've got the colours here. Right, so we're talking green. Green is two. So that's right. That is right. Zero, two is two. And we do that for two, okay. So why does it look funny? So we should have two green dots. 
which we do have there. That's okay. Then we should have two permanent green dots, but I think these are out. It's minus one on them. I think they're in the wrong place. The, it's this one here. They're too far down. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next line. Next line. Mode two, where are you? Two, mo two, mo two. Not enough screens. I need more screens. Right, serial, keyboard, next, ah, here we go, mode two. Right, so it's, the next row is definitely two, the next row is definitely 280. So let me just recalculate that. 3107 plus 280. That is not right, surely. 78. Let's run this out. I'm not sure that's going in the right place. It should be in the row below. That's not going in the right place. Hello. Right, okay. Right, so we are 20, so 20 characters, so 10 times 8 plus plus Right, that's our starting point. 32D0.
Right. Now, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six and seven. Right, three, two, D zero. Three, two, cancel. So that's three five five oh right see if I've worked it out right now there we go so that's where we're having that's where we're putting the ship just there So that's this bit. So we should have had two there and two underneath it, but we haven't. But then again, that could definitely be two pixels there. Right. So the next one, which is this. 3552, 3553. That. Should there we go. So that's one. So we've done this bit here. So we're going to add eight to three two three two d, d zero, which is going to be three two. So that's going to be 3, 2, D, 8, 9, A, B. 3, 2, D, B. So that should put that in. Three two DC um, think it's F, isn't it? Right, let's see what we've got now. So we should be getting this here. Right, so we're missing something here. Oh. Right, 3, 2 dB, so that's here. So what this is doing, this. so this should be just a single one. It's on the lower, yet yeah, lower, so five. So that's that. And this should be, that's right, okay. Let's just run this out. I wanna see the two, I wanna see the two purples. So we should have a, looks about right doesn't it but why oh hang on yeah that looks about right right so this one should be black no it should be the upper this one should be purple upper which is going to be one and five. So one and five, get rid of three. And it should be green. Now green is two. So there. Right. 
Here we go. Making some progress. In fact, that's not green, that's blue. <laughs> Hang on, what have I done? Have I got anything in... Oh, two, four, that's why. Got a number in four. That's better. So that's that one, and then it's just greens all, greens all the way down. So... I think there's going to be a green. Green is two. So two, get rid of two and three. Yeah? Yeah. So that's going to be two DE. Right, let's just make sure that's in the right place and then I'll add the others onto it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then we've got two more. F. Because I'm trying to... The plot... Right, three, two, D, eight, plus two, eighty. Three, two, D, eight, plus two, eighty, equals three, two, F, eight. That doesn't sound right. That definitely doesn't sound right. 3, 2, D, 8, plus 2, 80. That's better. 5, 5, 8. There we go. So that's that bit there. Then we're on this here. That looks right. Right, so the next one, three two D eight plus eight is three two F E zero. Yeah. E zero E one. So lower green and two as well. E two. And then we need green and red. So green uh, green and purple. So green's on lower, purple's on upper. So purple is going to be one and five. That's that one. Then got two greens. Get rid of that. So we're back to two greens. And then a green and a red. Ooh, never done red. So green high, red low. Green high, red low. That's gonna be there. Here we go. But that's not right. That is not right. 
We've got red in there. Yeah, it's the it's here. So that should be two greens, but we've got a red here. So green is two on the low, and then we've got one and five. Should be purple, but it's come out red. Oh, hang on. It's here. Let's try that. That's better. That is better. So that's six. And then seven is two reds. There we go. It's two reds. So, and then we've got two greens. But we need to ease, right, uh, I need to add a row. So 3 to E0 plus 280 equals 3560. 60. So that is two greens, which are them are zeros, those two are ones, and we've got two of those, so we might as well copy that into one and then we've got green on the lower so green on the lower so we get off that one two and three. Oh, and we need another one four so now we should have one half of this ship done there we go Now we just need to mirror it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Gotta mirror it. But there we go. It's 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 to try and give you an, an understanding of how we have that it's not just it's not just plotting the pixels and then adding a colour to it like we do with the 64. Is that you're having to work out the pixel structures based on the colour that you've got. So, you know, that's what all this is for, is working out the, 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 two, the two pixels. Each byte is two pixels, you know, and we're trying to work out the colours for each of the bytes. Plus working out where the location is doesn't help. So we could do the rest of the ship to get this. So we'd have to do that. Which might not be too bad. And then that one, and then that one. So, that's, because uh, that's E0 there. Uh, yeah, E0. So that's E0, so that's going to be E8, E9, EA, EB, EB, EB. Uh, 3, 2, EB, which is going to be purple and purple. So that's those two. And 5 and 4. So that's purple and purple on that one. And then we want green and purple. So green's top, which is... 
two, so green's top. So we get rid of the five, put it in three, and then four and one. No, four and zero, so we get rid of the one. So that's green and purple on C. That's that one. Then we've got two greens twice. So we can get rid do that again. Two greens, so get rid of that. So green is two and three. At C D and E. So we we're just done those two. Let's just check. Yeah. So now we're at the red and green point. So red upper, that's that one. Get rid of the three and green lower. Yep. F. And then we've got a green and a green, which is here. So I might as well copy that one. But this one is three two three two E zero. No, three two E eight. 32E8 plus 280, which is 3568. So that's that one. And then we've just got green high to do. So we get rid of the low value, which is that one. Cool, that's taking some working out. There we go. So that's that straight. And then we've got to just do that one and that one. But as you can see, that is how they, the, they construct the images. They're not talking about setting pixels. They're talking about a pixel is set by its color, not just the fact that we turn it on with zero and one, we set the color of the pixel, which can, and, and the way they do it, you know, because they've got this groupings here, you know, the even bits are the low and the odd bits are the high, doesn't help because you, you would have thought they would have kept them, you know, low nibble, high nibble for the two, but now they had to be awkward. Right, so three, two, E8. That was 32E8. So this is going to be 32F0. So 32F0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 32F4. And we have got purple high. So purple high is 4 and 1. there so that's purple high and we've got two of those and then we've got two greens so we've got two greens up here so can we nick that and grab that so it's six and seven Oh, an eight. Oh, can't. Because um, that's three, two, F zero. Three, two, F zero plus two, eighty. It's three, five, seven, zero. That's three, and then just one more, which is green low. So 
So take that out, that's the high one. Right, that should be Oh, got the top one wrong. Got the top ones wrong. It's these. Four, uh, oh, four and one. It's five and one. There we go. So we've done that. So it's just this now. So this was F0. So this is F8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So 3, 2, F8. 3, 2, F8 plus 2, 8, 0. It's 3, 5, 7. Right. Grab that, put that there. So we're just talking green high. So green high is on the three. Three, five, seven, eight. And we've got four of them. Nine, A, B. There you go, one ship. All that for one ship. Now we can optimize it because we've got certain we've got certain pairing pixels that are the same, like two two greens and stuff like that. But this is how you would have to um, build it in the beep. And you've got to remember, right, that there'd be another ship a pixel over because. Each byte is two pixels, so you would have two images of the ship, just a pixel over. So when you got the when you have the smooth scrolling of the ship, you would be literally with the two pixels. And this is where the editor comes into it, um, because you've got to. It's these guys hardcore hardcore coders, right? Because that you having to they're having to. Um, used bitmapping as their sprites now on a 64 we're spoiled because we have the uh, the sprite mechanics so i would then create another one of these but a bit you know uh, one pixel over so when we have a ship scrolling backwards and forwards it would be because there's two images now i can show that because we i have um I'm trying to remember where I put it. Da, da, da. Here we go. It's in here. Is this by Kevin Edwards in his um, git repos in my Discord. Now watch the ship at the bottom. Smooth, and that's because he's got the ship on it twice. Because he's in he's in mode two, so every byte is two is two pixels, and he's got it smooth scrolling over. So you, <laughs> and I'm rubbish at this. So this ship has been designed twice. Yeah. And you can just see down here the star fields just going through it as well. Yeah, look, see the star fields coming at the yellow. That's because he's XORing probably the star field on it. And that's how that's how you would do a sprite in the beep. And as you can see, it's a pain up the backside. Like I say, we can optimize this because we have got 
code which is similar all the way through. I'd have to, I'd have to, like there, there's one there and one here. So we could optimize it to make it run better. But that's where the sprite editor comes into it. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to try and help, you know, like um, uh, Kebab to understand the memory because you were struggling to start with, weren't you, mate? And and I thought it would be a good topic to talk about, especially when I've given you homework to try and do these things. Right, plotter. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So we got this circle. Kindly donated. Oh, we've got to do some migration on it. You took the hard road. <laughs> yeah. The operating, there, operating system's there, mate. Get it to do most of the work and then tweak it. That's how you should do it. Oh, this is going to take some sorting out, isn't it? I might do this later. You got the code now, okay. Right, that should be working now. Oh, comments, comments. Right. Oh, do, 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 do. Hey, Warlock. I'm oh, just deciphering. No, 16's the maximum amount of memory, mate. Um, that Mo2 is still using the full whack. If you want to cut, if you're just wanting to use four colours, so I could go for 16 colours and cut down the columns and oh yeah, yeah. That would reduce your memory. So you could do... Um, mm, yes. Oh dear. Bit of conversion going on here. I hope this works after I've messed around with it. No fix. Um, yeah. Oh 
There's a lot of pluses going on here. I presume that's going to there. Do, 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 do. Where am I? Right. Right. So I presume I presume X and Y is our coordinates. CX and CY is the center. Okay. Right. So CX and CY. Okay. So we're starting at the top. So we need to work out um, how many columns. How many columns? So that's um, X divided by eight. So. So divide by is logically shift right by two, by four, by eight. Store that in the same mechanics as it's the same mechanics as the graphic extension hang on let me get the graphics extension why should why am I reinventing the wheel when I've already done it plots not in there uh, do, 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 graphics routines here we go right workout position here we go Make a table of rows. Okay.
I like working it out. Now we're not inverting it. We're not inverting it, so we'll just load. Right, so that was the rows. Let's put that back in. So load X. And then Y is the same, divide by it. I think Rose is up there, isn't it? Yeah. Then we need to multiply the rows up. Right, so each row is 280. 280 hex so every every row we need to add 280 hex I need more memory Right, so we need to multi. So we've worked out how many rows, and because each row is seven bytes for each row, we have to work out how many of those bytes. So it's 280. 280 so let's do that. Eighty. Store it back into there. Load that plus one. Um, hash dollar o two. So L D X hash uh, rows D E Y uh, branches plus. Back to row multiply. So that. Why are you complaining? Oh. So that should multiply starting with zero. That's a point. Maybe I should initialize them. That'll do. So we work out the rows. So that's how many. So now that's worked out the pixels for it. So um, next thing is we have to work out on I'm going to have to do this offline. I'm going to have to do this offline. Well, 
work out column. Now I'll do this offline. Um, I don't want you guys trying to watch me decipher my own code. <laughs> I mean, it's the same. It should be the same as this. So we've worked out the row. Right, we worked out the row. That goes into U. And then V. doing seven minus aren't I okay I know mate I know I know I was just trying to be clever I mean I've done it in the the graphics extension for the 64 it's just that um, I'm just trying to Yeah. I was just trying to make it clever. I mean I've got it here. I got it here. Load seven subtract. R, but what's R? That must be row. Yeah, I know we need to. I, I'm just, it's just trying to be clever. Yeah, but a whole rack load of data, mate. Um, okay. No, I'll do this offline. I'll do it offline and then I'll put it on my gill. I've just seen what time it is. All right, guys. I just wanted to show you that this um, that the um, bitmap for the the C sixty four is uh, uh, the BBC is slightly different than the C sixty four bitmaps. Um, the fact that your pixel is derived by a color rather than a a bit in a byte is different than um, on the the C64, and that's why um, it, it's more complicated to work with the sprites. I mean, I've looked at that Kevin Edwards game, and there's a lot of code about moving these moving the, these images around. 
on the screen doing making sure that the uh, it's awed and stuff like that so it does you know whichever you want to be on top is always on top all right it's 11 o'clock it's <laughs> it's been a it's been a tough one this one because it's it's graphics i don't like graphics rather <laughs> sorry warlock you'll have to you'll have to see because it's uh it's a long one but i hope now you guys understand how bbc memory works for the the, the screens you know remember your your pixel is derived by color not because you put a dot on the screen all right right i will uh I will say see you for later and I will uh, see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much. Thank you.